Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, talking about three ways to instantly improve your batting average. All right, three simple, quick ways that can do it. The first thing and the biggest thing is to improve your bat path. There's no doubt that this for me is the number one thing. When I watch good hitters, hitters that have a good bat path hit the ball hard more often than other players that don't, okay? So a good bat path for me is a ball that's on plane with the pitch. The pitcher's throwing from an elevated mound overhand to a catcher that's squatted. The ball's going to be coming slightly down. I want to try to match the plane of the pitch. I want my bat working slightly up through the ball. I'm going to have good direction. I'm going to give myself a chance to be on path with that pitch and make contact whether I'm a little bit late, on time, a little bit early. My timing doesn't have to be perfect. right? So if I'm on path with the ball and I hit a little bit deeper than I think, I'm a little late, I can hit a ball that way for a single or double or whatever. A homer doesn't matter. If I'm on time, I can hit it there. If I'm a little bit early, I can still hit it there because I'm on path with the ball. I've got good direction. My bat's staying through the ball and on playing with the pitch for a really long period of time. That's the biggest thing for me, okay? We've made a ton of videos on how to improve your bat path. Go back and watch those, all right? If you feel like your path is either too much down here, too steep to the ball, or maybe you're kind of losing your barrel and you're getting under everything, go back and check those videos out. But that's the quickest way and the best way to improve your batting average, okay? The second thing is, is staying over the ball, staying in good posture, okay? So when I hit, in order to give myself a chance, I've got to stay in good posture over the plate. Butt out, we talk about hinging our hips back, butt out, chest over, and I want to stay there when I hit. So I'm trying to stay over the ball. Some coaches or players will say, or parents will say, head on the ball, okay? Good head discipline. For me, that comes with staying over the ball, and I'm there. When I don't stay over the ball, when I come out of posture, and I make this move right here, my head comes with me, okay? So my body, comes up and out, I come off the ball, my head comes off the ball, and now I can't hit. My swing comes off the ball, okay? So my swing will kind of follow my body. If I stay over the plate, if I'm in good posture and I make a good turn, boom, I'll stay on the ball, I'll stay through the ball. But once I come out of that, either I don't ever get in good posture, or I get in good posture, and then I come out of posture, my head comes off the ball, my swing comes off the ball, I'm never gonna hit for a good average. I'm going to have a lot of swings and misses. I'm going to have a lot of balls that I hit way foul that I feel good about sometimes, but i got no chance. Okay? Stay over the ball. Stay in good posture. The third tip, and this will help you with, with that, is to think about big part of the field. Think gap to gap. Okay? There's a lot of hits in the middle of the field. All right? I'm not talking just right back at the pitcher, but from left center field gap to right center field gap. Think about the big part of the field. All right, there's a lot of players that, man, I want to hit, right? I really I want to hit, and I want to drive this ball. And I, I, you know, I, everything they're thinking about is from, for a right-handed hitter, left of the left center field gap to the foul line. That's where they want to live, right there. And so they can't hit anything. Even if it's middle, they can't hit it, but they can't hit anything to this part of the plate. And a lot of times... They'll hit a lot of balls foul, and then they'll chase balls in here because they're always thinking. Right? They're always thinking, pull, man. I want to oh, get the head out there, and I want to pull it. I'm looking for that pitch middle in, right? And they, or they, I want that pitch in. Right? I love that pitch in. And then they swing at the ball way in here. All right. So an easy way for me to be able to help you kind of stay on the ball, stay in good posture, is to think middle of the field. Think about driving a line drive right back through the middle of the field. Okay? And if I think that, well then if the ball's slightly in, I can pull it. I'll be fine. If the ball's slightly away, then I'll be able to stay on the ball. And you know, I don't have to hit the right field, but I can hit it that way. Okay? But if I'm not thinking that, if I'm thinking I want to hit the ball down there, I want to pull this ball, man. I want to hit a home run into those trees right there. The first thing I do is I come up, like I said, I come out of posture, I come out this way, and my head pulls off, and then I end up chasing balls in here. If I'm looking to pull the ball and I'm looking for a pitch in here, well, then I'll swing at this ball. And I'll probably foul it off 
or I just can't hit this ball. And then I become super susceptible to anything out here. All right, so I'm really limiting myself. All right, so think about middle of the field. Think about getting a pitch, middle chunk of the plate, and driving it to the big part of the field, gap to gap. If you do those three things, I think your batting average will improve dramatically, and it can do so really, really quickly. All right, so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, in the description box below, we've got a deal going on with plate crates. If you, type, if you click the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off your first plate crate, so definitely do that. Uh, also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel so we can keep making more videos. Uh, and uh, there's a bunch of other stuff down there as well to check out. So that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will talk to you later.